Today we're going to talk about how to sketch inequalities. And so you have something like 4x plus y equals or is less than negative 2 or less than positive 2. So the first thing you have to do, of course, is move the x's. So I subtract 4x from both sides to move the x to the other side. But 2 minus 4x is not very helpful to us, and we want to see. I, I like to write it in standard form so it's easier to see, so I'm going to switch them around. So you see I put the negative 4x first and the plus 2 second. So we have the equation y is less than negative 4x plus 2. Now we know right here, this number right here, this, this 2, is the y-intercept. That means that it's going to cross the y at the positive 2. So if we go to the next slide, you will see that I put a dot here at the 2 to remind us that this is where the, this line, this particular line right here, the negative 4x plus 2, it's going to cross at the positive 2. Also, the negative 4 is the slope. This right here is the slope. So when we have a negative 4 slope, we have to think of it as negative 4 over 1. So we count down, to, we count down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then over 1. So we count it down 4 and over 1. So we put the point there. And if you go to the next slide, you'll see that you draw a line between those two points. And that is how you find the line. Notice I drew a dotted line because it, does not, it doesn't have the little equal sign under it. If it had the equal sign under it, then this would be a solid line but this line is not included in the answer set. So, now we have to figure out which side to shade. And the way you figure out which side to shade is you put zero in for y like you did here, and zero in for x here. Now zero, the point always goes, remember the point always goes to the smaller number, zero is less than two, so it's true. So we put in the point zero, zero. So zero, zero is always right here in the middle. So if it's true, you shade in the side with the origin. If this answer had been false, however, we would have shaded in the other side. And that's basically a little introduction of how to solve them. So for instance, if you had a problem like 5x minus y is greater, is greater than 3, in order to solve this, we'd have to subtract 5x from both sides first, minus 5x from both sides. So negative y is going to be greater than 3 minus 5x. And again, I'm going to switch them so that it's easier to see. I'm going to do the negative 5x first minus, or plus 3. And now, we, since we have a negative y, we have to divide by negative 1 to get rid of the negatives. So now we just have y. But whenever you divide by a negative, you have to switch the sign. So since it was going this way, now it's going to switch and go the other way. So we moved it from pointing to the right to pointing to the left. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, so it would be 5x. A positive divided by a negative is a negative, so we have 5x minus 3. So if we were to take our graph here, we would go, the, the y-intercept's down 3. 1, 2, 3, because it's negative, so we go down, negative 3. And then we also, the slope is 5, so we're going to go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1. And then we draw, this time, it, it's still, it's not, it's not equal to, it's just a great less than. So we have to take our dotted line again, dotted line, and draw a line through both of those points. Now my line's not very good, but it's close enough. Okay? And then we have to put in 0 for x and 0 for y. So put in 0 for y. Here we have 0 for y. It's going to be less than and we put in 0 for x as well. And we're going to subtract it from 3. So on this side, we just keep the 0 the way it is. 5 times 0 is 0, so these ones cancel out to 0. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. The point always goes to the smaller number. And the point is pointing to the 0, but negative 3 is actually smaller than 0. So this is false. So we look at the side with the origin. This side over here on this side is, is the side with the origin. But since it was false, we shade in the side that does not have the origin. If it had been true, we would have shaded in the side of the origin. And that is a brief introduction to sketching inequalities.